Cinderella. And who else? Snow White. You can't be shy. They had Mulan and Tiana and Ariel and who else? Did they have Sleeping Beauty? There were quite a few kids who were not comfortable with colors and letters and they were five years old and I thought, wow, this is these children are behind already. That was kind of a profound sense of sadness on my part. When Minnesota looks at the school readiness tool, which assesses whether a child is socially and cognitively ready for kindergarten, about half the kids don't pass. Mm -hmm. uh, and our most vulnerable children, children that are living in poverty, they're way behind. We know that the kids who are in that kindergarten environment who may not be prepared, it's really setting them up for some challenges as they progress through the upper grades. And so that, it just continues, that gap widens. Uh, they don't catch up. Mm -hmm. These are the kids that aren't literate by the third grade, that are tr quite troubled in the sixth grade, and generally drop out of school. And that causes a lot of problems, obviously, for the child, and a lot of problems for our society. Sydney wants to be Sydney and she walks into the building and the first thing she wants to do is put a beautiful dress on and sing and dance all around the room. Why not start your day every day doing that? If you want her to learn a specific topic, teach her through action, teach her through imaginary play. She loves princesses and dancing. And if I can somehow incorporate that into what we're learning, she is listening. <laughs> She's a little ball of energy. She's constantly moving. I think her style of learning is just like that. She's constantly got to keep going. I just want her to develop and grow in the areas that she seems to grow towards. Oh, brave. Yeah. With, yes. With this. The bow and arrow she had. Yeah. Yeah. Research shows that if you provide high quality child care services for the parents and the children, the long-term results are extraordinary. Uh, but you basically have to be high quality, and accreditation is part of that process. An accredited center has gone through a process where they have met a number of standards, particularly in the areas of curriculum, outcome measurement, teacher training, and parent involvement. It means that we really want to build relationships with the families and the children that we touch every day. It means that we are partners. The teachers who are closest to those children are working with the parents and are paying attention at that very small level so that those children are falling through the cracks. We have a very strong partnership with the families for the same goal, which is success of their child. We're all hoping to get them ready to go to school and continue education for many, many years to come. Quality care focuses more on the individual child, really understanding what each child needs, how each child grows. You can see it in their eyes and their attention and when they connect with whatever we're teaching, it's a great moment. They think they're having fun, but they're secretly learning as well. And I think that when you're little, that's what life is supposed to be about. Learning has to be fun. Learning has to be enjoyable for them in order for them to want to learn forever. So we need accredited programs, and we need to make sure these accredited programs continue to improve, and so that all our kids, all our kids start school healthy, cognitively and socially ready to learn. United Way has a $3 million goal to accredit 350 child care centers over the next few years in our nine county region. Currently, 26% of our child care agencies are accredited. When we flip that number to 85%, that radically shifts child care from the parents' perspective, the providers. All of them will come to see quality as the default position as opposed to the exception. I think it's critical that United Way play this role. It is probably the best way to end intergenerational poverty. So it's their mission and it's probably the best investment they can make, and they're on the ground. We work at the systems level with the state, with the counties, with the cities. We work with the child care centers, we work with the parents, we work with the families. So we're trying to maximize our reach with all these different levels and layers to ensure that we're getting as many kids as possible ready for kindergarten. I love that she's here. I'm lucky if I can get a hug or <laughs> bye mom. <laughs> so, you know, she's made a family here. 
there isn't just a moral case for making sure that children are school ready, but there's a societal case and an economic case. And it's not just a good investment for the child, but it's a good investment for the community because if the child succeeds, the community succeeds in terms of workforce quality, in terms of reducing crime, in terms of improving our school system. We got 18% return total and then about 16% annual rate of return to the community at large. These are huge savings to society. This is an investment opportunity with proven outcomes that will make a change long after your dollars have been spent. If you're looking to contribute to society, you probably can't find a better investment than in this accreditation program. You are a princess. I'm not. You're not? Do you want to be? No. Oh, stop it. Well, you can be mommy's princess. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs>